Hi, this is Kyle Lee, Senior Construction Solutions Specialist with ATG USA, and we're back for another technical talk video in my series providing a high-level overview of the different tools inside of the Autodesk Build module. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the submittals area within Autodesk Build. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and log into the ACC website and select the appropriate build project that you're going to be working in. Then to get to the submittals area, we're going to click on the submittals tab here on the left hand side of the page. When we land in the submittals area, we're going to see that this is um, just where we're going to have um, where we're going to be able to track and manage all of our submittals on the project. We're going to start off by seeing that we have three tabs at the top of the page here directly under where it says submittals. We're going to have our spec sections that we can set up. We're also going to have our submittal packages that we can create as well as the individual submittal items. And keep in mind that we can create new spec sections when we're uh, either from the tab here or when we're creating a new package or even a new item. Now, this is a fairly new project, so we don't have a lot of submittals that, are already, that have already been created, but let's take a look at what we can see directly uh, from the submittals page itself. The first thing that we're gonna see is we're gonna see the status of the submittal items here. We'll also see our submittal item number, as well as the spec section that it is associated with. If we have any revisions for this submittal, they'll be noted here, as well as seeing the title for the submittal item itself. We'll see what type of submittal this is. In this case, we have product data submittals, as well as being able to see the priority level, any packages that these items have been associated with, and who is the responsible ball in court individual that is required to make the next step in the submittal process here. If we provided a due date for our submittals, we'll see what that due date is. We'll also be able to see what the submittal response answer was once the submittal is closed out, and we'll be able to see any items that have been referenced in association with the submittal item itself. So let's take a look here at one of the submittal items. Right here, we can see that we've got an open item that's been submitted. This is for a countertop charbroiler. You can see that I am the responsible person with ball and cord at this point. So let's take a look at this individual submittal item. When we come into the submittal items uh, screen here, this is simply a, a dashboard view of what's taking place with this individual submittal item. We can see the steps that it's taken in the process and the steps that are remaining in order to complete the submittal process for this item as well. We can see general information regarding the submittal, if there's a description for the submittal item, the spec section that it's associated with, any subsections if we have that inputted as well. We can also see our submittal type, the package that it's associated with, the status, the responsible ball and court team member, the manager due date if that's specified, as well as the priority level. Down here, we'll see any of the attachments that are associated with the submittal. So in this case, we have a cut sheet that is that has been provided for review here. Down here, under the planning and tracking, we can see required dates for the submittal, the required approval date, as well as the required on-job site date. If we know any of the lead time information for the individual submittal item, we can enter that in as we're creating that, or we can update that after it's already been created as a submittal item. We can also see when this was sent to the submitter, what the due date is for the submitter on this, and when it was received from the submitter being returned back. Also, we can see the manager due date as well as any of the other reviewer due dates. Over here, we can see the participants in the submittal process. You can see that I am listed as the manager while Miles Willis is listed as the reviewer. If we have any other co-reviewers, we can list them here. You can also see the responsible contractor for this submittal item, and we can name watchers. Watchers are individuals that will just be updated as this particular submittal moves throughout the process, but they're not individuals that are actually going to be providing any type of an official response. If we've referenced in any items to our submittal, we can see that there, or we can add references if necessary as well. And over here to the far right, we have our activity log where we can see everything that has happened with this particular submittal item from the time that it was created until the current date today. Okay, so this submittal item is ready to submit for review. 
we can see that I have the cut sheet that's been attached to this for review. So I'm going to tell it I want to submit this for review. It's going to tell me that this is going to go to Miles Willis as the reviewer. We can add additional co-reviewers right here if we need to. We can also enter in our reviewer due date. We can enter in any notes if we need to, or we can add watchers to this particular submittal item as well. So we're not going to update any of the other information here. We're just going to say this is done. And so now you'll see that this is stepped through to the next step in the submittal process, and it's being handed over to Miles for the review. After he reviews this particular submittal item, he'll be able to provide his response and return that back to me. At that point, if the response is approved, I would then be able to close and distribute the submittal item itself. Okay, so that's just a very high level overview of the submittals area within the Autodesk build module. I certainly appreciate you joining me for today's video and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a great day. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel. 